Bingham Canyon has been in operation since 1903. And in the more than 100 years since then, this site has been the source of many breakthroughs still used in mines throughout the world today. The landslide is known as a rock avalanche, even though the slide was one of the largest non-volcanic slides in North America. The slide was predicted by interferon radar systems that track movements on the pit's wall, so evacuations prevent any deaths or injuries. The landslide had two slides that were about one to two hours apart. Both slides lasted about 10 seconds, displacing 60 to 70 million meters of dirt and rock, blocking many of the mine's main roads. Surface wave amplitudes were 5.1 for the first slide and 4.9 for the second. The magnitude of the first slide was 2.5 and 4.2, and the second slide was 2.4 and 3.5. I'd like to point to the main face slide just behind me. We've moved over 14 million tons from the top and sides of that failure in an effort to return this area to a safe configuration for our miners. The 165 million ton main face slide was a defining moment in the history of Kennecott Utah Copper's Bingham Canyon mine. Since April 10th, our employees have worked in a singular effort to accelerate our recovery progress. To talk a little bit more about what's been achieved to date, our employees moved over 6 million tons, dumped over 2.2 million tons to build the road across the slide mass. It's over three quarters of a mile long and 150 feet wide. 